I'm seeing things I shouldn't see. I'm dreaming things I've never seen. You're beginning to think in images, concrete images. Hot, cold, light, dark, food, hunger, pain. I think as I've always did. Words are becoming meaningless to me, except for the most elevated. Hey guys, uh, it's in theater and um, it's Record Wednesday or Random Record Wednesday or Vinyl Wednesday, whatever the heck it is that we're calling it, we don't know yet. Um, yeah, uh, pretty much um, I acquired some new records this past week, or rather I've had these records for a while, I'm just kind of stumbling across them and actually combining them into my collection. Uh, you can see part of my collection in the back right here. Which, uh, this is just part of my collection. Uh, the rest of my collection is actually behind you and you can't see that. Um, maybe next time I'll give you a tour. So today we're going to be talking about Meat Loaf. Bad out of hell. Um, this is the album. Uh, the artwork is done by Richard Corbin. Um, amazing artwork. Uh, from what I read online, he did a bunch of sci-fi um, albums, and um, it's really awesome. Um, my record actually came with the sleeve that has all the lyrics and the information about the record. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, the condition was pretty, pretty good. It has one slight kind of stuff mark, but it plays really well. I really don't care because it's not one of those that I'm going to be playing constantly. It's just one of those, I think it's just going to stay in my collection because I just like the front cover. Um, as for the album, totally not a fan of Springsteen. Um, the album is very Springsteen-esque. Um, Steinberg, the guy who composed or wrote the songs, was actually very much influenced by Springsteen for this album, and yeah, I'm definitely not a fan of Springsteen, um, yeah. I should have known it was a premonition when I pulled out this album and right smack behind it was a Springsteen album, that I shouldn't have forgotten this and I shouldn't have taken this, but the cover told me to do it. I will say this record is a keeper in the collection. Um, definitely, I would say it's a piece that you're going to want just in case you ever want to break up with somebody. Just have them listen to uh, Two Out of Three Ain't Bad. And if they don't get the hint the first time, let them listen to the whole record. And yeah. Easy way to break up. That's pretty much it. Um, other than that, it's kind of a eh on the scale of awesome music. Don't get me wrong, it has some really good hits on there and I'm just not a fan. And that's all I can say about that. Uh, totally was unexpected. I was totally expecting to love this album. I actually listened to the whole thing last night and I just... I was up here in like awesome land and then it went downhill from there and it was just kind of like why do people listen to this? Why was this made? Um, I actually um, went online and did a little bit of research behind this album. Turns out this album was rejected several times. Uh, they actually lied about being signed to a label in order to get this album produced. And even then when they found out, it was just kind of sheer insanity. If you're interested in the details of this album and its creation and how many times they got rejected, and I don't have anything meatloaf, so yeah. Um, I'm probably definitely going to just keep this based on the album cover alone. Uh, don't think I'm going to listen to it anytime soon. Uh, I just can't. Um, more power to you if you really love this album. I'm just not a fan. And I'm definitely going to keep this just for shits and giggles. Just because I love the story behind this record. And how many times it was rejected. And just how it still got made. And it's just amazing. Um, I did a little bit of research on Wikipedia and I also learned about Steinberg and a lot of the things he was doing in the past and a lot of the things he did beyond Meatloaf and just a lot of the musicians that he worked with are just musicians that I'm really not a fan of and it was just kind of funny how I finally realized what I don't like. Um, yeah, don't like Springsteen, definitely. 
Anyway, um, this isn't about Springsteen. Uh, on an ending note, I would say this is a record to just have for shits and giggles and basically for music material to break up with somebody by. So if you're looking for a song to break up with your significant other or if you're looking to sit there and just tell someone they ain't the right one, um, definitely check this album out and you can tell them to listen to Two Out of Three Ain't Bad. And that's pretty much that. And um, hopefully next week we have a better record or something that's a little bit lighter. Oh, before we go, last week we did some records that we own because of Family Guy. And you can check that out by clicking right over here. Um, during that, we talked about the artist who did the cover work for Queen News of the World, uh, Kelly Freeze. I learned his last name is pronounced Freeze. Not Frios like we originally thought. Um, it was pretty awesome. I love Wikipedia sometimes because you can learn some information that would have otherwise been lost um, along the way. And it's just nice to spread the information around. But um, pretty much uh, what happened was is I learned in Wikipedia that Kelly Freeze uh, actually did a lot of mad magazine um, covers. And it's funny because I actually own a collection of Mad Magazine covers from 1968 to about 1984. Uh, not consecutively, like a few copies, like probably I'd say 20. And uh, I thought, you know what, I need to see if I have one of these covers. But darn it, I don't have a single one of these covers. I'd love to see one of the covers um, that he did. Uh, I just don't happen to have any. I looked at all the covers and see who the artist was, but... Kelly Freeze was definitely not one, and I couldn't find a Frank, because apparently he went by Frank Kelly Freeze, so, um, maybe he actually did something inside the books, so I'm definitely going to try to look out for that, um, it'd be really cool to see. But, um, on a random note, while I was looking for some Kelly Freeze artwork, I stumbled across this advertisement that I thought was really cool and I thought other people who like records or who were interested in records would think it was really cool too. This is a Mad Magazine um, from October uh, 1978. Butts, 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 butts. And <laughs> um, pretty much on the inside you can see an advertisement for um, a record for Mad Magazine. Um, it says, just for the record, Mad Super Special is worth the price. It's an advertisement saying that you get real things like a 33 RPM record with new danceable single disco laugh hits free along with the usual, usual assortment of records. So these they actually gave records out inside the magazine. Um, I actually don't own a single one of these magazines that have the record inside. Um, I think that'd be really cool to see. Hopefully, you know, maybe in this lifetime. I don't know. Uh, maybe they're gone forever if they were made out of cardboard. Um, but I thought that was pretty cool, and I thought other people would enjoy seeing that. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, any information that we talked about tonight will be down below. Uh, sorry if this was kind of a serious record uh, day. Uh, didn't expect it to be. I just really didn't expect to be listening to Meatloaf being miserable. And yeah definitely a record that you should use to break up with whoever it is that you are dating and that's pretty much it and yeah bye whatever it is that you believe you're seeing it's not 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 real seeing things before they happen things are not always what they seem in this place so you can't take anything for granted